up everybody we're back in the game of another video and so as you see in the title bro it's been a while not even a while since i made this it's been a good little bit since i made it but as you see in the title bro we're making some ribs but not this no ordinary ribs bro we're making a slow cooked barbecue rib sandwich son you know that y'all gonna sound fire boy you know that y'all sounds fire you know the best thing about it bro this whole meal bro it's about to be falling off the bones, son. So I hope y'all ready for it. So before we make this meal, bro, we just, we're gonna need a loaf of some French bread, some light brown sugar, and also some seasonings, some diced onions, and some parsley, and of course, some baby back ribs. And on the side, we also got some ketchup. So let's gonna get to it, y'all. Let's get it. All right, welcome back, y'all. So the first step is really simple. All that we're gonna do now is make our own barbecue sauce. And you probably wondering for the triple OGs, you already know we made a barbecue sauce. This one is gonna be a smidge tiny little bit differently. So of course, what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw some couple cups of brown sugar in this thing. And then we're gonna also need some um, some apple cider vinegar, just a tad bit, some mustard, and a little bit of rum. So after you get done adding your ketchup to it and whatnot, that's when you just stir it all up, add a little bit of butter to it. Then once we get done with that, we start the saving for later on the side. Then we're gonna trim up our, our ribs. Then after that, then let's get to the next step. So let's get it. y'all welcome back and stuff like that so we got our barbecue sauce sitting and so now we got our rib just nice and looking pretty so only thing we got to do now really for it is just trim off some of this fat so you don't want you don't want to trim off too much but you just want enough for your ribs won't be all fatty so in this case you don't know what fat is it is like in this white piece right here you know what i'm saying you don't you don't really want too much in that in your meat so, but also you gotta be careful too, cause you don't wanna skin off your meat as well. So luckily this is not all that fatty. So I could just basically like throw these things in a crock pot. So let me flip them over real quick. And they already kind of like deveined, so not really deveined, I don't know what I'm talking about, like this is shrimp. But yeah, they all got that white skin off of it. So yeah, it's a nice looking set of ribs, actually, honestly. And now since it all depends on the type of ribs you got, some might take longer, some might not, but mine, luckily, it didn't take that long. So only thing we gotta do now, the season's bad boy. And so what we're gonna do now is get both sides of it. And you wanna get like a nice little coat. Don't be scared to rub that thing in. Like so. Kinda like massage your meat, pause. Like that. So, now we're going to flip it. You want to get both sides. Back and stuff like that. And so now we're back. Now we're on the simplest part this whole meal, bro. All you gotta do now is throw everything in the crock pot, let us do its thing, and you ready to eat it. So, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna throw some of our barbecue sauce in here, like so. All right, like that. And so, what you're gonna do is you're gonna throw these things right in here. That. And once you do that, you just pour the rest on top like so. Then remember, we're gonna save a little bit left from when it ever gets done. So, all right, so you're gonna throw that thing in there for about three hours and 30 minutes, and that's it. So, once we get done with that, we'll go to the next step. So, I'll see you when we get done. Let's get it. Three hours later. Welcome back to stuff like that. So we just got done with our ribs, kind of, but not really. It was sitting in the crock pot for a few hours. So like now, all that we gotta do now is just coat it up with some more barbecue sauce, throw it in for like an oven for a couple, like probably another hour or so. 
and that's it. So let's go ahead and do this. Let me show what we do is. We made a remaining amount of barbecue sauce right there. We're just going to just coat that bad boy in that joint. Right now, I will ideally you want it to be in the crock pot for about, I'll say about three or four or some hours and stuff like that. But if you're like kind of short on time, two or like three, you'd be kind of pushing it. But then you're gonna throw it in the um, in the oven for about another hour or so. Get a nice little coat on it, like so. Flip it again. And so once you get done coating it with the barbecue sauce, you're gonna at least wanna bake it at least at 400 degrees for about another hour or so. So let me go ahead and do this, then see you to the end. So let's get it, yo. Welcome back, son. Welcome back. So we just got done pulling our ribs out the oven, boy. They looking tender. They looking right, but I'm not gonna lie though. I kind of it kind of tore up on me a little bit because I was trying to pull the ribs out, but it, it worked out. But it started to fall apart. That's how tender it is. So like, you know what time it is, boy. We got done cooking it. We got done showing it. So now it's time to eat the thing. So this is how we looking like right now. You know what I'm saying? Got some butter and parsley on the bread. Got some caramelized onions. I meant to put them at the top, but I didn't know which side the bread was on, so it's at the bottom. So it's all good though. So let's go ahead and try this thing right here. Look out. You know, oh, I almost messed up. And this is how I'll be looking right now. The ribs is coming out, sliding out. You feel me? So let's go. Should I hit from the side or the front? Let's hit from both the side. Are you ready for it? Mm -mm. Yo, hold up, bro. Hold up. Let me get some bread with it. Oh, I can eat this joint without, bro. Without the bread. Hold on. Bro. Bro. Normally we do two bites. This time we're doing three. Mmm. Mmm. Good, son. So you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Stop eating. Stop eating. Stop it, don't you? So you know what time it is, boy. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. All that fun stuff. We take on the next video. So I'll see y'all to the very next video. Let's get it, yo. Just a little bit more kids. What's going on, guys? I'm just sitting here doing a video. Um, I just want to let everybody know that I'm black and I love my hair. Hey, guess what, guys? I'm black too, and uh, see that? I love my hair. Well, <laughs> I saw a zombie land too, don't tell. You know, the second rule. Go up. Yeah. Yeah. You know that was impressive how I just put my leg up there, no ease. What's this? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? See, I put it up here too. I ain't might put it up there.